Hello guys and welcome back to another video here at Startup Rain TV, the platform to inspire, empower and connect entrepreneurs worldwide. So first of all, I would like to apologize for not being as consistent as I promised. Guys, I'm so, so sorry. I've got so many other commitments um, outside YouTube. Please, please, please don't shoot the messenger. I'm only human and I promise to do my best moving forward. Well, thank you to all my new subscribers. I do appreciate the love um, and support because you guys inspire me to shoot more videos. So thank Thank you so much and welcome on board and for all my existing subscribers thank you so much you know i owe it all to you guys you guys are very loyal to me and i'll do my best to be loyal to you as well just a quick announcement the boss lady necklaces are now available Yay! so i've got the little one which is what i'm wearing right now i don't know if you can see it yet um but you can get the other one which is the all-time favorite i've got it here as well which is this one so if you're interested, then make sure you get your hands on it, okay? At www.fashv.com In this video, I'm going to be bringing you four simple steps to creating an e-commerce website for your online boutique or an online store in general. So if you're interested in finding out more on how to create an e-commerce website, then make sure you watch this video till the end. So in order to create your website, the first thing you need is a domain name. Your domain name is basically the name of your website. So that could be your business name. So it's usually a www.yourbusinessname.com, .net, .co.uk, or wherever you're based in the world. So if your business name is Fashvi Limited, for example, then your domain name can be www.fashvidlimited.com or whatever the case may be. It's actually advisable to have a domain name that correlates with your business name because then your business is consistent on every platform and it's easier for people to find you. There's no point starting a business called Fashvi Limited and then calling your domain name SVC Limited or something like that because it's got no correlation with your business name and you don't want to confuse your customers You want to make sure you're consistent in every platform be it online or offline So make sure you invest in a domain name You cannot start an online or e-commerce website without a domain name You can go to www.namecheap.com which is my all-time favorite That's where I recommend everyone because that's where I purchase my domain names Okay, but if you've got others in mind by all means, whatever you do, make sure you have a domain name, okay? It's gonna cost you roughly $10 for a whole year, okay? So you're only paying that one off fee of $10 for an entire year. Surely you've got 10 pounds or $10 in your savings. Surely you've got 10 pounds lying around. Come on, come on. Number two, once you have a domain name, you're gonna need to find yourself a hosting platform. So think of your website as a house. Your domain name is the roof and your hosting platform is the house or the foundation to that roof so you're going to need a foundation to carry that roof okay so the web hosting is going to be the platform that will enable you to add new products to your website design your website with whatever colors and fonts and templates you want set any prices that you want create coupon codes for your customers have any pop-ups and you know opt-in list for your subscribers and things like that so you need a hosting platform to basically operate your website if you don't have a hosting platform then you pretty much don't have a website. Your domain name is number one, of course, and your hosting platform is the main thing that you need to run that website on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, there's a lot of web hosting platforms out there that you can use for an e-commerce website, such as Shopify, Big Cartel, Big Commerce, Wix.com. There's quite a few of them. I personally don't use them. What I use is a self hosted platform to create my website just because I prefer more flexibility. Some of those platforms come with a lot of restrictions in terms of how many products you can list on your website, what sort of templates you can use for your website and how you can basically maneuver that website. I love flexibility. I love functionality. I love diversity. I want to go into my website and make as many changes as I want, have as many products on my website as I want. So what I use for my online e-commerce website, Fashvi, is easyclickwebsites.com. If you've watched any of my previous video, I do talk about this in my previous videos. So basically with easily websites, you can, it's free to use for the first 30 days. So you can actually get access to a hosting platform, absolutely free for 30 days, create your website, maneuver with the functionalities and see how well that works for you. If you don't like it, then you don't have to pay anything after 30 days. It's simple as that. Okay. And actually get yourself access to hosting from as little as 15 pounds per month. You need to pay it on an ongoing basis for the ongoing running of your website. 
unlike a domain name where you only pay a one-off fee for an entire year and you only have to worry about renewing that domain name every end of the year so with a web hosting platform it's more of an ongoing cost for your business so make sure you budget some money for that okay i'd rather pay 15 pounds a month for something that comes with a lot of benefits rather than go rather than going for a free hosting platform that comes with a lot of restrictions um, so really really up to you and your budget what you want to go for and I'll leave a link in my description below where you can actually subscribe to it number three so now you have a domain name and a hosting platform of course the next step is creating your website now when it comes to creating your website you've got two options now you can either hire someone to do it for you if you've got the cash if you've got the finances it's always the easiest option because you don't have to stress yourself, you don't have to worry about creating or designing your website from scratch, or you can DIY it by doing it yourself, which is what I've personally done for my own businesses because to be honest, I didn't have that money to fork out paying someone to create a website for me. I had to teach myself how to create my own e-commerce website, okay? So if you're thinking about paying someone to design a website for you, then once again, you can head over to easyclickwebsites.com where you find an option to get a website designed for you from as little as 150 pounds okay and that comes with free web hosting included for an entire year however if you don't have the money to pay someone to do it for you then i strongly recommend you do it yourself which is what i've personally done myself now if you're looking into creating an e-commerce website but you're just not sure how to get started or you're just stuck on what steps to take then i recommend you check out the run boutique academy i've got a step-by-step -step guide on how i personally created my website fashvshop.com if you like the look and feel of that website website then head over to runboutique.com where I'll be showing you how you can actually create a website very similar to that one okay so make sure you subscribe to the VIP membership program which goes into a lot of details step by step and teaches you how to create your own website from scratch it also comes with free web hosting for an entire year so you don't have to worry about paying any monthly fees as you go along okay so if you're gonna start an e-commerce website you need to be willing to invest on that business if you want to be taken seriously by your customers and if you're really really serious about taking this business to the next level you're not going to start any business out there for free okay for the last but definitely not the least you will need a payment processor of some sort now when you create an e-commerce website people go to your website they shop for the products and services that they want they're going to be taken to a checkout section where they have to pay you now you need to have a payment processor that will process these payments online for you okay because no one's going to be paying you by cash you're probably going to have customers from different parts of the world which are one of the joys and benefits of having an online boutique or online business or online store so you need to have a payment processor what I personally use is PayPal and I recommend PayPal to anyone out there not sponsored personally is what I've used over the years and it's always worked for me it's free to register an account with PayPal it's secure they've got a good reputation out there so you know your customers are definitely going to trust using PayPal for your business you could use your bank account if you wanted if you wanted back payments for example that's another option you could go for but again I'd rather you use PayPal because it comes with a lot of security you're covered by your policies and they can easily help detect any sort of fraud and things like that so it's probably best for you to um, head over to PayPal.com register for a free account and then it'll be easier for you to sort of you know integrate that into your website a lot of hosting platforms out there already come with PayPal as a plugin so it's easy for you to integrate PayPal with your website once you have an account so these are my four key steps to starting an e-commerce website or creating an e-commerce website so once again if you're looking for more in-depth information in regards to practically creating this website from scratch head over to the wrong boutique academy i'll leave a link below make sure you check out the premium version because you won't find that information on the free versions okay so if go into a lot of details step-by-step -step videos and tutorials to teach you how to create your own website from scratch so once again thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to follow me on facebook twitter instagram at startup brain i'm the only one and also head over to www.startupbrain.com where you can check out my blog don't forget to click on that red button down below to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my weekly videos when they do come out and i look forward to catching up with you in my next video bye for now